In the last episode, we were finished a third in the table at the end of that episode. We've played a couple of games since. Now where are we? Welcome to episode 36 of From the Bottom to the Top as we try and take a National League as South Side. In this case, Weymouth from the bottom all the way up to the top. And this is our journey. My name's Mark and on today's episode we have for you two games, uh, both at home uh, at the Bob Lucas Stadium. And uh, they're both going to be very difficult games. Uh, the first game is the FA Trophy fifth round against uh, local rivals, Yeovil Town. It's not going to be an easy game. We've just played them in the league as well, which doesn't help. And then we play uh, the runaway leaders of the moment uh, um, in Vanarama League match day 33 in the face. Uh, uh, we face a Chesterfield United in that one so uh, they are the two games on the episode today before we catch up with what's uh, been happening since you were last with us um don't forget if you enjoyed today's episode leave me that big thumbs up subscribe hit the notification button leave me a comment let me know what you think of the series so far and you can also follow me uh on the channel um by following me on x formerly known as twitter at just offside two Right, yes, since you were last with us, uh, we have played a couple of games. We'll uh, have a quick look at those. Uh, before we do so, I just want to have a quick look at the uh, um, medical centre. We've uh, Everybody seems to be coming back, not 100% fit. Tom uh, Solanke's been out with a bruised knee, and Alfie Prescott got a twisted knee. Both are on their way back, but probably not fit enough for certainly the first game of the episode today. Um but uh, they will be back, hopefully, very, very uh, soon. Um, yeah, since you were last with Fylde and Aldershot in the last episode, a 1-0 win against Fylde, uh, an own goal we didn't score in that one. Um, very tight affair. And then uh, Aldershot Town, a 1-1 draw with a goal down and uh, Casey Petit, four minutes into injury time, getting us an equaliser, which uh, saved our blushes. It's happened again since then uh, more about that in a moment but uh, then we went on to play Eastley um, at the Bob Lucas and uh, it was a 3-1 win nil nil at half time very cagey affair uh, but Amika Peters getting the uh, first go our first goal after 50 minutes a ball played back uh, by them Bolton and uh, Bolton through to Peters Peters just uh, set himself and uh, did very very well the uh, Linton was the player on the outside of him. Of course it was. Um, so 1-0 then on 50 minutes. And then uh, just uh, four minutes later, uh, Spencer Spurway got us a second. Linton crosses this one deep to the back post. And uh, Spurway doing what Spurway does well, popping that one away. Um, talking about Spurway, he's on holiday at the moment. We're giving him a little bit of a rest. He's due back on the 9th of February. So... Uh, got about another week or so without him. Uh, Cameron Cooper getting our third after 68 minutes. Cooper, lovely through ball. Cooper firing it, and it uh, took a little bit of deflection off the defender, so a little bit lucky in a way. Um, but uh, on 68, we're three goals up and three goals to the good. However, eight minutes later, Corey Panter got a consolation goal for Eastley. Barlow with the corner, swung in, and Panther gets his head to it, beats Armstrong at the near post. And then we picked up that uh, injury to Alfie Prescott. It's ball forward. Casey, Cooper, out to Prescott. And uh, Prescott try and run down that wing at his ankle. And, uh, yeah, he's been out for a wee while with that one. 3-1 win then. And uh, then we went to uh, Hewish Park and a game against Yeovil. Never going to be an easy game. Uh, never was. Either Ben Quinn giving the uh, home side a lead after 50 minutes after it was nil-nil at half time. Boyce fires this one back. Quinn hits it first time. 
and a rocket from the edge of the area 1-0 uh, but it was very short-lived uh, because uh, on 51 minutes Melvin Lambert got us back level Davis with a throw in to Morris back to Davis Davis to Bolton Bolton to Davis Davis crosses it deep Melvin Lambert getting his head to it and uh, we will level again inside a minute but then two minutes later Charlie Boyce took a free kick Stanton uh, Staunton in the penalty area nobody wanted to tackle him Taylor pulled it back for Boyce who'd run into the area Boyce putting it away 2-1 uh, three goals in three minutes uh, really made it look a bit uh, wishy-washy and uh, it looked like we were going down to a 2-1 loss uh, apart from this happened in the very last minute of full time not full time but extra time at the end of the match Blythe out to Vincent this was last ditch last attack Vincent crosses it deep Lambert gets up puts it away as Lambert can do and uh, we saved our blushes a 2-2 draw we managed to get 20 shots 8 on target 3.39 and 52% of the possession probably deserve to win it really Yeovil 15 shots 7 on target 1.28 and 48% of the possession uh, so a win and a draw a while you've been away and it has left us uh, in the table still in third place um, behind Chesterfield who as I said runaway leaders uh, they're 11 points clear of us with a game in hand they did lose their last match though I have to say uh, that last match they lost to Gateshead 2-1 um, so they're not for not losing uh, but you just uh, depends who they come up against um, and uh, the uh, team immediately above us are Bradford City in second place on 68 four points adrift to Chesterfield uh, but they have seven point advantage over us and a game in hand York City breathing down our necks they're a point behind us now on 60 points then comes Holly on Moore's fifth on 57 uh, Halifax Town are sixth on 54 and Barnet in seventh on 53 Eastleigh just outside the uh, playoff places on 51 which means that we are 10 points clear of them in eighth so uh, that's uh, looking promising Woking, Scunthorpe, Kingsland Town and Dawkin still in that drop zone um, albeit they have caught up with Bond would have uh, used all their games in hand up now so it's all very tight at the bottom there um, there is a, a nine point gap up then to Chester who are in 19th place and they have a game in hand so if they will win that game in hand it would actually be 34 so um, you're talking about 13 point gap between uh, the Boreham Wood there and the bottom so uh, you're talking about four from five at the, mo at the moment near the bottom right enough talking let's get on with the episode it's a game against Yeovil Town this time in the FA Trophy fifth round uh, we've played Yeovil four times in this series so far we've not yet been able to beat them uh three nil loss at hewish park in the national league south uh we uh, only managed a one one at home at the bob lucas a three one loss in the national league earlier in the season here at the bob lucas on that occasion um doherty kieran evans and own goal and brim morris we helped them really didn't we um uh, and peters um the scorer in that one um and then obviously this uh game just gone uh two two draw and just managed to uh survive that one otherwise it, it would have been another loss not yet beaten them maybe today is the day and here is the team that faces yeovil town in this size susu fa trophy fifth round it's armstrong in goal vincent blythe healy and davis are defensive line knight morris and stanton in midfield Evans is sat behind Peters and Melvin Lambert up front uh, Melvin Lambert saving us in that last match of course so uh, he's uh, kept his position Ransom Howe Slade Casey and Cooper on the bench and here we are back at the Bob Lucas only uh, won two of our last five drawn two and lost one and Yeovil Town come to visit one two of their last five drawn one lost two they're playing a four two two a four two four in effect playing in all green tonight three minutes on the clock and Davis not far away Blythe with a free kick five minutes on the clock not seen Davis score from one of those free kicks yet and uh, they've won the ball snuck it 
We uh, not being very careful. Healy coming down this wing here. And uh, ours through the legs of the player Moffat. Ooh, just off target. And uh, 14 minutes on the clock. Game of small margins. Vincent with the throw in. Um, and I think he threw it into Peters. And uh, Morris over the top looking for Peters. Peters brings it down nicely. Evans. And Kieran Evans with his ninth goal of the season. And we do take the lead on 15 minutes. A well-worked uh, thing. Vincent and Blythe. Blythe to Morris. Morris chips that one over the top. And Peters brings it down very, very well. And uh, puts it into the path of Evans. And it was easy from there on in. Davis. Davis crosses that ball deep looking for Peters but didn't find him. Quinn will pick that ball up and they can counter us. We're not careful. That one forward looking for Hamilton. Hamilton out of the blocks. Oh, oh. And he almost stepped over that. Inkimani. Inkimai stepped over it. Moffitt coming in from behind. And on 21 minutes, it's all level. Ball down that wing. And Hamilton doing Prescott things, rifles it in and Healy trying to stop Ikemeni from getting in but uh, Moffat was coming in. They have a free kick, Tarima Haste Staunton, Tarima. I need to check if that's the uh, Tarima that uh, we've got in the other save at West Ham Belongo it's down that wing and it's in again and a penalty's been given Ben Blythe picks up a yellow card for his troubles. And can Armstrong do Armstrong things? Yes, he can. It was a poor penalty. It's gone for a corner, but uh, probably no more than we deserved, really, from that. It's a bit uh, wonky. Is that the turning point of the game? Quinn, it's headed away by uh, Healy, I think. Knight will get there. And Knight starts a counter-attack. He's got Peters on the inside of him. He's got... Oh, that's a poor ball, though. Straight down the middle. Armstrong didn't move. Armstrong to Davis. This will go to penalties. No extra time. Malvin Lambert. Malvin Lambert out there. He's cut that inside to Knight. I thought that was a bit short for a minute, but Knight managed to get there. Vincent now. Vincent into the area. Oh, off the woodwork, I think. No, goalkeeper saved it. It's uh, gone for a corner. Vincent with a corner. It's going to be an in-swinger. To the near post, but it's headed clear. Peter's there to tidy up. Peter's now down this wing. What's he going to do with it? Pulls it back for Staunton. Peter's, and he's offside. Uh, we'll see this save or whatever out to Vincent Vincent into the area cuts it in Peters lovely shot and it was a goal keeping save and half time has come and arrived nine shots four on target 1.71 46% of the possession for Yeovil we've had five shots four on target 1.18 and 54% of the possession uh, we haven't been uh, well off the pace but we need something magical to, uh, to take this with a scruff of the neck and uh, we could do with a couple of gold cushion really and with 71 minutes on the clock making two changes Bryn Thomas has come off Harvey Slade has come on uh, we've also taken off Melvin Lambert and brought on Cam Cooper Healy Byrne with a throw in Pebble and uh, Staunton cut that one out Cooper Cooper now he's come forward but he's lost the ball Obviously not up to speed yet. Cam Cooper out there to try and cut that out. Oh, and uh, yeah, they've scored again. His fifth goal of the season, Akinyami. And that's not good. change formation slightly and maybe it was a mistake trying to chase this game 
And with our final change on 80 minutes, Ben Blythe has come off and Harry Ransom has come on. Can we have the ball? 83 minutes on the clock. It's gone out wide. Slade cuts that out. Staunton, Healy. Knight. Knight to Evans. Evans to Cooper. Cooper through to Peters. Peters now. It's a save from the goalkeeper. Watts getting his hand to it. Putting it wide on 85 minutes. Vincent with a corner. What can we do here? Swung in. And Watts comes out and collects. Unlucky. It was a good, uh, good put away. And uh, Peters did all he could do. Pulled a save out of the goalkeeper. On target. He's put his foot in the way, really. We have a free kick. Ransom. Vincent, is this going to be another late show again? Penalties if it's a draw. Knight. Ransom. Vincent. Ston Stanton. Slade. Slade through to Cooper. Cooper has a shot from distance over the top. And that's probably our last chance. And indeed it has. And the Oval Town have knocked us out at the fifth round of the FA Trophy. And uh, we weren't to get any further Moffat. Uh, being a pain in the what's it and uh, Akinyemi um, really the players that give us the trouble in the end uh, Luke Armstrong having a good game uh, but uh, player of the match Owen Moffat, 8 shots, 5 on target 1.74, 48% of the possession, they had 11 shots 5 on target, 2.04 and 52% of the possession no draw for the quarter final this year, another day, another loss against Yeovil Town, can't seem to get past them as much as we uh, try. Um, games have been played in the National League. Nothing of great significance. I think Fylde beaten Dorking 5-2. Dagenham Redbridge um, joined 2-2 with South End. Uh, Solly Moors beating Altrium 4-1. Uh, Halifax Town 0-0. And Kingsland Town 1-1 with Oldham Athletic. Uh, not much change at the top. Um, we're still in third. Um, otherwise, it's as you were. Uh, so uh, that takes us through to our second game of the episode. It's going to be a week away uh, to the game against Chesterfield and another tough, tough match. Well, we're on match day of this game against Chesterfield. Chesterfield leading the pack, of course, as it is. Uh, we've played them twice in this series so far. Friendly, uh, which we drew 2-2. Losing at uh, Chesterfield um, earlier in the season at the SMH Group Stadium. 3-2 on that occasion. Amika Peters getting two. Uh, Peary and Dobra, uh, the scorers for uh, Chesterfield. Um, we went behind on 40, equalised at 41 minutes. Uh, they got uh, to 2-1 uh, after 51. Uh, we got one back on 74, but they snuck it on 84. So it's a bit of a topsy-turvy game. Uh, they are top of the table as it stands. Just to quick check on that table as it stands. There you go. Chesterfield, they've played their game in hand now. And uh, as it looks going into this game, they are top on 75. Six points clear of Bradford City in second on 69. Then we are third on 61. 14 points adrift of Chesterfield at the top. Uh, eight points adrift of Bradford City in second. Then come York. And Solly or Moores, both on 60 points. Uh, Halifax Town on 55. Barnet on 54. And Eastleigh South End and uh, Aldershot all outside on 51 points. We're 10 points clear of them as it stands. I think there's a full list of games today, the 14th February, Valentine's Day. I want to fall in love with it all again by beating Chesterfield. Can we do it? Let's go and find out. And here is the team that faces Chesterfield in this uh, Van Rama National League match day 33. Um, a must win. And I think if we lose today, that is pretty much our chances of uh, getting anywhere near the title gone. Armstrong, we need to hit some form anyway. And we're not in that sort of form that we were last season. Armstrong in goal. Linton, Healy, Spurway and Prescott are defensive line. Bolton, Stanton and Knight in midfield. Casey is sat behind Cooper and Evans up front, which means we have a bench looking like this. A Blythe, Davis, Solanke, Vice and Melvin Lambert. And here we are once again at the Bob Loose because that uh, blot on the landscape showing on there. Drawn 2, 1, 2, lost 1. Well, they are playing a 4-2-3-1 today. 
won three of their last five games, lost one and drawn one. They are top on 75. We are third on 61. And absolutely no highlights for you in that uh, first half. It's been a very cagey affair. And nobody's had a shot on target. If they've had two shots, 0 0.06. Well, we've had one shot, 0 0.08. 51% uh, of the possession against their 49. Um, I'm hoping that you might get a highlight sometime in the second half. And we do get a highlight. Linton with this ball back into the area. Uh, Stanton to Healy. Spurway, 52 minutes on the clock. They made one change at half time. Healy, Bolton. Bolton swings that out looking for Knight. Knight is brought down in the penalty area and we have a penalty. Who's going to step up and take this? Evans is on the pitch. Evans is our usual chosen. He is going to take it. And he's put it away. And we take a lead after 53 minutes. Tenth goal of the season for Kieran Evans. And, uh, well, soak up the pressure. It's a tactic we have been using against some of the bigger sides. Didn't do it against Yeovil. But just got to sit in there and hope. With 70 minutes on the clock, we're just going to make one change at this juncture in time. We've taken off uh, Joe Knight, who's tiring, and Solanke comes on to replace him. And with 80 minutes on the clock, making another change. Cam Cooper's off. Malvin Lambert is on. And uh, Malvin Lambert taking up his uh, target forward position. Well, they have a corner, and they're going to break our hearts, are they? Baker swung in, but uh, Spurway sort of heads it. But Oh, it's bouncing around there. It's gone in. And they have broken our hearts. Got an equaliser on 85. Oh. Initially, it looked like it had uh, been saved. Spurway not getting the header away. Hits the crossbar. Falls nicely for Taylor. Armstrong beaten. And with uh, 85 minutes on the clock, making our final change, Alfie Prescott is off. Sonny Davis is on. And uh, we, uh, we're going and look for this uh, winning goal if we can. Armstrong with a goal kick. It's long. It's uh, headed down, but they've picked up the ball. And we've not seen a great deal of them. We've contained them. Ah, oh, come back off the woodwork. Spurway gets rid of it. And it's offside anyway. Just thought they were going to thwart us right at the end. And it would have been... I think we've been more than able to them. We have a corner. Can we get a, something from this corner? Spurway! Yes! And uh, we've uh, taken the lead. Five minutes of extra time in the first minute of those five. We need to batten down the hatches now. But Linton, perfect ball in. Spurway at the near post. And we've taken the lead again. On 91 minutes. And we have snuck that win by virtue of uh, Spencer Spurway on 91 minutes. He's had a little holiday. He's come back. Give us the winning goal. And uh, we've beaten Chesterfield by two goals to one. Five shots, two on target. 1.15, 48% the possession. We had no right to win it, really. Uh, but we did uh, hold them very tight for a long while. Nine shots, three on target. 1.93, 52% of the possession. Our game plan worked. Well, a full program of games. And, uh, well, we have uh, closed the gap on Chesterfield by virtue. That's a six-pointer, of course. And that win over them has uh, meant that uh, we've closed the gap to just 11 points. We need to keep going, though, um, and take heart from that. We've uh, reduced the deficit to Bradford City uh, down to eight points. And we have a three-point gap over Solihull Moors in fourth um, and uh, still 10-point gap down to Barnet, just outside the playoff places. Uh, York City losing to uh, Yeovil Town, which has helped us a little bit. Um, but Yeovil Town must be climbing the table a little bit as well. Uh, Bradford City beating easily three goals to nil. And of course, we beat Chesterfield by two goals to one. What an episode that was. Hope you enjoyed it.
Uh, just a shame we didn't get a result against Yeovil Town. We're going to play uh, Halifax Town offline. We're going to come back for Gateshead and Dagenham Redbridge to round off uh, February, and then we will motor through. No more um, cup competitions or whatever, so we'll probably go down to Chester and Barnet. Oh, no, I need to work this back. Bradford City and Dorking, Scunthorpe and Barnet. So we'll probably do uh, Dagenham, uh, Gateshead and Dagenham and Redbridge, um, and then we will come back for... Uh, I'm not quite sure how we will do it. We'll work out how we're going to do it on the running. Depends how we're doing as we get a bit closer to there, I guess. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, leave me that big thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Uh, keeps you up to date with all future episodes, bottom to the top, and our other series, Irons in the Fire, as they are released, of course. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the series so far and all the rest of it. What you'd like to see me do next. Uh, new episodes, bottom to the top, released every Tuesday and Friday at 4.15pm. And the best way of keeping up to date what's happening on this channel is to follow me on X. Formerly known as Twitter, of course, at Just Offside 2. That uh, keeps you up to date with everything that's happening on the channel. New and old and uh, stuff that's going on as well. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you for the next episode. It's going to be episode 37. It's out on Friday. Till then, goodbye. <laughs>